What's up you guys, Shardness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Puff Adder Build-A-Figure Waves Yelena Belova from the Secret Wars comics. Secret Avengers comics, I keep saying Secret Wars. Anyway, that's where I remember her from, the Secret Avengers books, where she's resurrected by Norman Osborn, but then quickly gets killed. Was that just a clone? Or was that actually Natasha? I think it was a clone. Anyway, on the side you can see 3D render image of Puff Adder along with a list of the other figures from the wave. And then on the back you get some nice 3D render images along with the contents inside and then on the other side you get a nice image from the comics right over there of Yelena Belova. And then you have a non-spot varnished Avengers logo on the top. Not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open but first if you're trying to get your Marvel Legends you can do so. Big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below. <laughs> And here is Yelena Belova out of the packaging. And there's a bunch of reused stuff going on here with this figure. So you do need to know that, especially if that's something that justifiably irritates you. I, I totally get it. But there's also new stuff here that I do like. The accessories are all things that we've seen before. and They don't look too bad. So let's get a closer look at those. Oh, we also have some new stuff with the accessories too. So anyway, let's get a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the figure. So the figure comes with the build a figure piece and it comes with these accessories right over here which i think is a sufficient amount of accessories however i wish we'd gotten alternate heads i missed out on the toy biz yelena belova variant and i wish we had gotten just a regular unmasked head would have been nice to have for the collection but you can see we've gotten these blast effects before and the guns do look familiar uh, we do have one right here with the silencer and you can go ahead and swap these effects pieces out with these smoky effects that have this brownish gray color mixed in there and they just poured in very nicely right over there we've seen these before not really new and you can go ahead and take this gun and put it in her right holster well it's the only holster that she has but you can see how that goes in right there works out very well and then you have a set of fisted hands which i'm happy to see and a set of gun holding hands so that's cool then you have this big old gun right over here and this looks new to me uh in with a question mark at the end because it's familiar and but at the same time i've may have seen sniper rifle like this from a different toy line and i may just be uh, recognizing the model if, if you're an enthusiast of firearms and you know exactly what this is you know uh, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below but i do think this came out looking very good you have this strap right over here which you could remove if you want and the way this works is you want to weave this through that little bar right over there so i just tend to it was a little tricky to do but you could weave through like that and weave down through here on the second part and then there you go so when i put this over her shoulder i tend to take the head off first you may want to heat the figure up especially if it's in a cold environment but i think this looks dope i do like this quite a bit there's also this nice subtle texturing right over here on the side of the strap too damn if this is from another marvel legends figure let me know but yeah you also get the hole right over there so you could plug in effects for this gun too all three guns you could plug the effects in which is great and it's worth noting that three of the four hands have the vertical hinge and only the right gun holding hand has the horizontal hinge <laughs> oh you guys know i love gunmetal gray and that looks great over there nice clean red paint too uh, the head sculpt came out looking really good i like this a lot i like the black paint for the mouth and everything looks awesome maybe a little bit of extra bleeding right there but for real it looks pretty nice man and yeah the hair doesn't have any real color variation in it or anything like that but it looks pretty well sculpted so i'm happy with that so that is new the upper torso is new right over here i've never seen this ribbed neck pattern on a figure so that looks pretty neat and you can see the chest has some wrinkles right there making it look like fabric around the armpits right here too and then the rest of the figure is reused from the motorcycle black widow figure of course you don't have the gauntlets or the stingers right over here uh, but yeah and we only get the single jointed elbows which is a bummer you can see the wrinkles look fairly consistent from the new piece to the older pieces right over here we get this new belt which i love i mean nice silver paint apps too i don't see brown creeping underneath there maybe around the edge of this one right here i see some brown coming through there so watch your mouth shardimus but the red looks really clean and for the most part it doesn't look too bad with the silver paint there's looking at the back of it you get the buckles and everything there's the legs we've seen these before and the wrinkles look pretty good but you do have the pins sticking out that's going to bug some people 
on the figures where it has the same color it doesn't bother me as much and then you can see the feet right here we've seen before and we get the peg holes so the head articulation is a little tricky to work with here we do have a neck hinge joint so she can look up just a little bit and she will move her head down a whole lot more so with the hair splayed out it does make it a little easier for her to turn her head side to side a little bit of head pivoting or I could have loosened things up from popping the head on and off right there, which you do want to be careful with. Uh, the shoulders will move out and above the 90 degree mark. You can move them all the way in, rotate forward, rotate back. No bicep swivel, single jointed elbows that do bend in more than 90 degrees. Not ideal, but at least it bends in more than 90 degrees. Uh, all the wrists turn side to side. We went over that already. Diaphragm joint goes side to side. Diaphragm pivot moves forward a little bit, back a bit more so, hips move outward, and she can't move her legs in all the way, cochina, she can kick forward a little bit, back a bit, upper thigh cut right there, double jointed knees, and then the ankles move down, they do move up, and she has beautiful ankle pivot. To measure out this Yelena Belova figure, you can see that she is standing a bit over the six inch mark. Then here's Yelena Belova next to a couple Black Widow figures. We have the motorcycle version where you can see they use a whole bunch of parts from, and I do like this belt a lot more than the Tampo Deco belt right there, and then we have the gray suit version. And I wanted to put on a blonde maskless head sculpt on this Yelena figure. And here's my Sue Storm. I guess that's the closest I'm going to get because I really don't feel like this really works out perfectly. It's like the closest to that hairstyle, I guess. So that kind of looks like Yelena, I guess. Yeah, not too, not too bad. But still, I wish she had an unmasked head sculpt with that hairstyle. That would have been really cool. And then here's Yelena Belova next to the Iron Patriot or Norman Osborn. And if you haven't read Secret Avengers, I recommend it. And I especially love the artwork, Mike Diodato, uh, one of my favorite artists for comics ever. And are we going to get an updated Iron Patriot Hasbro? We have the updated Extremist Armor. This would go well. Uh, then for a Yelena Belova comparison, we have our new comic version. And then we have the MCU version. Again, I don't have the Toy Biz one. Wish I did. That's one of the few Marvel Legends I don't have. I should pick that up at the next toy show. By the way, I'm going to do a video talking about the possible return of Toy Biz in tomorrow's video. So stay tuned for that. And if you're on Patreon membership, you could watch it right now. Then here's Yelena. Next to the other figures from the wave that I've already reviewed, we have the Ultimate Captain America. We have the Extremist Iron Man. We have Molecule Man and Baron Von Strucker. And just looking at these five so far, it's a pretty solid wave, man. I'm mostly pretty happy. And then here's Yelena. Next to your average six-inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time down Spider-Man. Ooh, hey, I like blondes. Oh, well, that's a lot of eyes. <laughs> Do I look up here or I look down there? Am I supposed to look at you up here? Or which one's the real set? Down there or up here? Down here or up here? I, I, I don't really know which... I, I can't really... Ah! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it, so why not hit that like button? And if you want to stay tuned for more videos coming your way, I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I am grateful for that, as well as you guys just watching. That goes a long way as well. And the figure right here is okay. You know, it's not fantastic. It's actually one of the figures I was least looking forward to. But uh, I do like the posability that we do have here. You know, if you're going to go with single jointed elbows, at least it's these single <laughs> these single jointed elbows. I wish we had the double jointed elbows, though, you know, so that bums me out. And I wish we'd gotten that alternate head. You know, I knew it wasn't going to come with the figure. It's just that I wish it did come with an alternate head. They'll probably make another Yelena later on. I don't know. But, you know, if they do, That'd be cool if she had the exposed mid-drift and everything, and they went with that style. Who knows these days? They may never do that. But going back to just this figure right over here, I did have fun with it. Wish I had a little bit more time posing it around, but I enjoyed it, and I really like the head sculpt a lot. That's really the main selling point, and the weapons are really badass, too. I do like the weapons. So not ideal, not terrible in my opinion. It still costs a lot of money for what we're getting right now, so that kind of bums me out still. But at the price point of around 25 bucks, I'm going to give this Yelena Belova figure a sud rating of... It's not so bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news and a photo gallery of images, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on whatnot. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. Crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.